earlier today in their loss to Towson. Giordano skies one out to right. Underneath it is Kupinski, and she has trouble with it. It drops in. It's a fair ball. Around third comes Collins. She will come in to score, and Giordano into second. Manto at third, and the Pride are on the board. Well, you've you've called it a game of inches, which is so true over the course <laughs> of this week. As Iapolo to second to play at the plate, Manto in safely. Iapolo safe at first. The Pride have two runs in, nobody out here in the bottom of the first inning. Here in the championship is Valancourt. Skies went out to right, going back on it. Kupinski, Giordano will tag from third. The throw comes in, close play. Giordano just <laughs> beat it out for the third run of the inning. And rally back to win that game 11-9. Against the best pitching staff in the conference, came into the championship with the best ERA. Orozco loops one in for a base hit. That'll score one around third into home comes Chambers into second is Orozco. It is a two out, two RBI double for Alicia Orozco. The 2 1 hit hard right side. Collins on it. The flip to first. Not in time. Run comes home. Heads up base running by Orozco. And Stony Brook has another. Ball. It was still hit hard by Ackerman. But by no means was it a perfect swing on the pitch. It's just she's swinging with so much velo. Into right field. That'll drop in for a base hit. And Stony Brook has another run. RBI single, Juliana Sanzone. A 1 1 hit hard again to left. That'll drop in. One run it comes in to score. They will stop. Sanzone at third, but it's an RBI single for Chambers, and we are even at five. Booth, when you see an opening, a gap like that. Skies one deep to center, going back on it. Orozco at the track makes the play. That'll bring in at least one run. Morris is rounding third. She's going to try to score as well. The throw is late, and two runs score on the sack fly from Casey Collins. Brooke Dye bunts one down the first base line and it rolls fair. <laughs> A gamble from Iapolo. And Dye is aboard. I mean, even these outs are hard outs. McKevitt rolls one through the right side. Around third comes Iapolo. Play at the plate. She slides in safely. Another RBI for Madison McKevitt. And the Pride's lead is four. Taking the lion head, one of these pitches. Kupinski high and deep to left. That's gone. A three run homer for Catherine and Kupinski. And it's a one run game. Kupinski silencing the crowd here at Bill Edwards Stadium. Three two count been used to battling with their backs to the wall. They've won three straight games in the loser's bracket. Fought off to Iapolo and that'll do it. The Hofstra Pride are heading back to the CAA championship game for the first time since 2018.